in Figma, uh, which is you know also called as a glass morphism, where when you overlay a object, which basically gives a feeling of a glass. So let's recreate this effect very quickly. Uh, so now I'll just add a couple of ovals uh, just to make sure you know we see the effect and you can give them any color which you want. Let's have some vibrant colors so you know uh, those would look good on this darker background and it is not necessary to have a darker background you can do it on any background you can use a gradient you can use uh, some random backgrounds uh, from the unplash or from the free pick or uh, anywhere you want or you can create your own as well and then let's quickly create an object which is basically going to be our glass and it can be again any shape so let's try with the oval this time because for the earlier example i showed you a rectangle but now let's do it with the oval okay so i'll just apply a gradient feel to this and just to you know give a cool look you can do it with a white background as well like a plain white feel as well but the gradient gives you know a bit extra uh, extra touch to the realism or you know to the glass morphism uh, you can see and let's adjust the opacity of the gradient so on uh, you know one side i'm making it 20 and on another side um, probably let's make it 60 okay and just to give it a you know a stand out kind of thing let's add a stroke as well and stroke i'll keep a plain white probably uh, two pixels just to make sure that it is you know clearly visible and now we'd be applying the effect which is going to make this as a glass okay so this so far so good so let's add an effect and instead of a drop shadow let's go here uh, sorry uh, let's select the layer uh, background blur effect which is going to you know blur the background whatever uh, behind this and i would adjust this to let's say 100 for now and you can change the you know blurriness so depending on your you know amount of blur it would basically give the depth you want so let's say if i make it uh, let's say 200 then you know it would be giving a feeling that you know the that density or you know the the morphism is too high so uh, you know just to stick to a good number i would probably do 120 or 100 that is fine so this way you know uh, you can see it has created the school blur effect and now just to enhance this a little more we are going to add a drop shadow as well so this way you know it will add the shadow to the object so i'll keep the uh, rest of the settings as it is i'll just increase the blur probably to 60 and maybe a low the opacity to let's say 15 that would basically you know add a slight drop shadow to the to the object which we have created this if you want to know you can add the linear gradient to the stroke as well or you can get rid of the stroke as well it completely depends on you know the look and feel you want but in a simple you know uh, process you can create this cool glass effect and figma so yeah that's all for the day stay tuned for all such awesome figma tutorials and ui ux tutorials till the next video keep watching